what's up what's up what's up everybody how y'all doing out there happy sunday happy sunday happy sunday thank you all for being here i really 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 do appreciate it for this insecure season five episode eight recap i think i'm zoomed in a little bit too much let me try to zoom out oh i did that wrong way wrong way but thank y'all so much for being here uh i really do appreciate it let me know as y'all are coming in hit that thumbs up button hit that like button uh, in the comment section, let us all know what you thought about the episode. Uh, this is going to be a spoiler recap like it is always each week. And um, I'll go ahead and say, you know, this episode was better than episode seven. I know me and Tyra wasn't really feeling that last one, but uh, we may be feeling this one right here. So she is backstage right now. And before I bring her in, let me go ahead and shout out everybody in the building. We got about 14 people watching right now on YouTube and 14 thumbs up. So that's what's up right there. Let's go ahead and get to 50 million. But we got Easy Lot in the building. What's good? I miss Issa's brother on the show, LOL. What's up, man? Thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate it. Uh, Zia Latrice is in the building. Good evening, everyone. Torian won this episode. But we're definitely going to talk about it. And Zia, thank you so much for being here, ma'am. I really, really do appreciate it. Thank you. Nary's 21. Hey, what's good? Hey, hey. Laura Winslow. Hello, Brandon. And hello, everyone, to the chat. What's good? uh meme uh me me love space what's good all right i cannot read me me loves peace yes Tony and one that's what's up we have susan in the building i want some wings now too i really do too myself i really do i really do and what's good you seem from to do that man lawrence randomly popping up makes my skin crawl <laughs> well we're definitely going to talk about it and hey what's going on keisha charmaine hello hello ho. hello 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 thank you so much for being here well, guys, uh, let me go ahead and bring in my lovely guest. 
Miss Tower with struggle reviews, ma'am. Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? Hey, hey, everybody. <laughs> How you doing out there? How you doing? I'm fine. How are you? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. That's I'm really, uh, I'm really interested in seeing what you have to say about this episode because um, you were smiling. I was, and uh, <laughs> you know, you was excited, and you, you know, you're looking a lot more enthused than you were from last week. So yeah. I'm, uh, I'm kind of <laughs> curious to pick your brain, you know, and see what's going on. So. Uh, we're going to see. We're going to see. But guys, if this is your first time joining us, this is Tyra with Struggle Reviews TV. Um, if you love what this lovely young woman has to say during this recap, you can follow her on social media. Um, I, her handle is on the screen, as is mine is. You can also find her information down in the description box of this video. And you can also just head over to my channel tab and you will have her channel right here. I mean, if you just go to my channel, you click this channel tab, um, you will see her channel here uh, at the bottom, Struggle Reviews TV. And this is what her lovely channel looks like. So make sure you don't not only subscribe to my channel, but subscribe to hers and show her some love. You know, help her get to 5K and all that good stuff. So, so, so here we go. <laughs> all right. Miss Tower, <laughs> are you ready, ma'am? Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Well, again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to Insecure Season 5, Episode 8 Live Recap. Coming at you live right now on YouTube at Just My Opinion Reviews. Twitch at twitch.com at Just My Opinion Reviews. Facebook.com slash Just My Opinion. Tyler, let us have it. Uh, how did you feel about this episode? How did Finally! You feel? <laughs> Finally. Finally, something. We got something this episode. Like, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Thank you. Um, we we got some substance. We got some real storytelling here. We got some perspective about the future as far as Issa and where she's headed, her relationships or you know choices. It we got something like it didn't feel like filler. It felt like it belonged here, and it didn't feel you know short. You know how we watch these episodes and you kind of feel short change, like you didn't mm -hmm. get nothing, and then it was twenty three minutes. And crap like right, that right. like no i felt i felt full after this episode really okay That's um and i will agree with you as far as that i mean as far as the choices the title of the episode did match pretty well i will give you that and we did get a sense of the future as far as you know where she will be and of course we're going to get into that but um while this was better than episode seven you know, I just was not really that enthused with this episode right here. Um, I don't want to say. <laughs> I, I, say it again. Say it again. I said you better take what you can get. Yeah. Um, and it's not much. You know, I'm still the whole Nathan and Issa thing just yeah. looks really weird, forced and washed. <laughs> I mean, when they was at her function, her gathering, her venue, her event. And Nathan popped up and they're like, I love you. I love you. And kissed it. I, I, must, I was like, oh, uh. what's going on? <laughs> and I have to be honest, her, I always like her talking in the mirror to herself. You know, that's cute. You know, they've been doing it the whole show, the whole series. But I felt in this, they took it a bit too far. Those daydream imaginations, they yeah. weren't like 30, 45 seconds. It was like half the show. Yeah, you know, but I, I liked it. I liked it though. For I'm gonna tell you why when we get to it. But I, I liked it. Okay, I, I don't know. I thought it was a uh, a bit too much. I was tripping. Like, do I need to rewind it? Like, did yeah. I miss something? I, I had you know? a moment. I was like, did they jump a couple of years? Did I miss? You know, yeah, get I, her. Get, I was like, no, this is still. We're still in a uh, flash forward. Yeah, you know, I mean, I don't, I don't know. It's, I just, I guess I can say I was disappointed. I was. I just, you know, I, I wanted more. So I, I don't. Yeah, is this the best? Is this the best episode to you? Uh, I'm still with that second episode, the Lawrence episode. <laughs> That's still the best episode in my opinion. But besides that one, so far since episode two, this is the best episode we've gotten so far in my opinion. I got you. I got you. And guys, I just realized I made a boo boo when I was taking my screenshots. I forgot to close out the camera. So when we're doing this, you're going to see that black bar, that black box on the far right. So my bad. So I'm just letting you know, um, I won't be able to do anything about that. But this is how the episode starts. And I don't know. It just, they don't, <laughs> do they look happy to you? Uh, this look like a, I'm getting the forced vibe. 
not from Nathan, more so from Issa. I think it's really significant that when we get into their relationship, we have yet, let me, let me try to be cute about it. We ain't seen no cheeks being clapped between <laughs> <laughs> Nathan and Issa. It's always, you know, the morning after. I think that's really significant because they've been really oh. vivid, you know, as far as sex scenes. Like when we get into her emotions and how she's really feeling about someone within the past seasons, we get, you know, these really gushy sex scenes, you know, her on the Ferris wheel with Nathan, her when she went back with Lawrence. But so far with them, we haven't gotten that. We just get the morning after. I think that's right. really significant here that we have yet to see any. Have we gotten, we have yet, have we gotten a sex scene from Issa this season? Well, we did in last episode. I think she had on the purple uh, lingerie and she was on oh, top. Oh, gosh. That's and it was kind of. That's yeah, why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. why I forgot about it because it yeah. was dry. But it's just, um, it, seem, it seems really, Nathan seems happy, you know. He just seemed like he needed a place to stay. He has a place to stay, though. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I don't know. And that's the whole thing. Like, I'm just, should we move in together? I mean, yeah. I, look, I'm not, look, if people play house, I don't even want to call it that. You know, do what's best for you. I know what's best for me. But I'm like, come on, man. Like, that whole conversation, I'm just like, why are y'all doing this? And like, should we, mm -hmm. I've been leaving my clothes over here, my my shirt, my toothbrush, yeah. you know. But you like, see, it's him, though. It's him, like, pushing himself further into her space. I think he wants to make those moves. He thinks, you know, they're headed in the right. He's not, you know, picking up. We're picking it up as the audience because we're like, this is not the Issa that we know when she's head over heels in love, obsessive, like, really, you know, with someone. It's still a little bit because, you know, he's like, you know, you ever, you know, we should move in together. You know, my stuff's here anyway. She's like, uh... Do you think we're ready for that? Like she's still yeah. hesitant, but she's not flat out going like, no, I'm not ready for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's uh, another thing. This is just for, for me. This is just not the same Nathan that when we met him. And I, I know I said that last time, but, you know, I don't think we ever going to get him back, you know, but um, I hope you've never used anybody else's toothbrush before. <laughs> no, because that was gross. <laughs> um, man, that's oh, that, you know, I, I, at least they got the comedy in there, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's cool. I like her girl right here. She's, you know, she's always a treat. Um, I love her. I forgot her name. Um, assistant. Yeah. <laughs> as, assistant. Does she have a name though? She does, but we don't know it. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see if I can, um, let me see if I can try to find it real quick. Well, it, it would be funny if it was assistant. Oh, God. Actually, actually, I don't, I don't, do I want to spend time looking for that? No, I actually, I don't. I don't oh. want to bore you guys. It's people in the chat, if you know her name, uh, please let her know. Um, I don't know how I feel. I mean, how you feel about them making fun of the suicide girl? Uh, that was um, that was out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, I'm so yeah, glad I came I to stop by um, and drop, uh, you know, go to that bridge. You know, yeah, like. I think that was a way for them to try to cue in, you know, once again that mental health because she says, you know, we need to have another uh, more wellness event. So it's like, mm -hmm. you know, we need to make sure our people are secure. But I was like, yeah, that right. was a different different way to go about it. Like, right. and she stood there and linger, like, yeah, I was gonna go to that bridge. <laughs> it's like, I got you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think her name is Koya or Sequoia. Koya. Koya. Okay. Yes, thank you. Koya. Thank you. And Kenzie <laughs> said he wanted Nathan to win. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like. Wait. Yeah. Is, it, is this a color? Am I tripping? Sequoia? Yeah. Uh, Do, am I tripping? I don't know. I know it's a, I know is... it for a hood name. Like, I know okay. some Sequoias, but I don't. <laughs> yeah. Let, let us know. Let I don't know, know about the color. I'm not, I'm not totally sure. But I'm just Issa. They look. I'm. Mean, I call you Issa. They look whack. They just don't look right. Do they look? <laughs> I, you, you think her outfit is cute? I'm just curious. Uh, uh it's very Issa. Mm -hmm. It's very Issa. I like. I always like the that she always gives you know patterns and different textures and stuff. For me per se, I'm not too into you know the turtleneck type situation. But it's Issa. I like it on her. I have to say, Molly was glowing for me um, mm -hmm. in this episode. I said to myself a couple of times when she just kind of walked up, I was like, "Damn, Molly, okay, what's up?" You know, I don't, I don't know, but I'm, uh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling her in this one right here. She got the fade. We know how you feel like you feel about the fades, you know, and all that. <laughs> I like how you skipped over Nathan's growth. Okay, what, what's, what's up with Nathan? What I like about? how you skipped over Nathan at the art walk with his cousin. 
<laughs> oh my fault. Go, go ahead. Was, you, you, you got like, you got the you got the keys to the car. You got it. You, you in the driver's seat. Keep him like Nathan is feeling good. He is foot loose and friendly. And he, Nathan's mind, they are making mad progress. Like we're together all the time. He's being there as we see throughout the episode. He's really supportive. He's there. He's made strides with the cousin because you see how they kind of left off that. And it seems like they're in a good space. Even Ethan, you know, kind of cozy enough. So it just seems like they're familiar and they've been hanging out a lot. In Nathan's mind, like they're they're married in Nathan's mind in my eyes. <laughs> what about Issa's mind? Uh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cause I, I I mean I I don't have the exact I don't have the exact picture, but they was making some ugly faces at each other uh, during this scene. It, it wasn't vibe. I mean it's it's vibing right here. This 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 does look cute. Yeah. So it's still it's to... still just a bit. It's like something. It's some awkward. It's like an elephant in the room, and nobody's willing to just bust out and go, "Hey, I'm not too sure about this. Hey, are you really over your ex? Do you are you really ready to make these strides? Like if you're not gonna say it, I'm not gonna say anything. We're just gonna keep coexisting and saying I. Love you, you know. <laughs> yeah, it was. It's horrible. Um, that I love you that they did out there. It was trash. It, but I, I, they were just doing it for show because the girls was out there, mm. you know. And so, um, you know, the brother's funny too. Yes, you know, he, can, he he always pops in with his angst against Kelly. Can't stand right, her. <laughs> right, 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 right. Now, how do you feel about your boy Crenshaw? Him coming back, you know. Sequoia, we just learned her name. She thinks his apology is sexy. Yeah, it's just like a sexy ass apology. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's gonna be a sexy apology because it's coffee. But I was like, if you don't get coffee? the fuck out, if you don't get the fuck out of here, like, bye. <laughs> like oh, yeah. you're gonna wait till she's making strides. Like I love so much of this episode because we really get into Issa and the progress that she has made. Like last season, we literally just had her visiting. Hard walk, like the little thing with uh with Lawrence and mm -hmm. they you know the whole thing the date this season like she's in control of it it's she's it's her event like that's a really massive thing as far as you know progress which we see throughout the whole episode but you wait until I'm like like oh I didn't know like you had to get permits and you yeah. had to you know get this and that I was wrong like yeah so I'm trying to work with you like I low key can't do what I thought I could do by myself. And, you know, I see you out here shining. I learned from my mistakes, you know, whatever. It's play as fuck up. Let's work together. You know, like, uh, no, sincere <laughs> no. enough to, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of glad she curved on myself. Yeah. You know, uh, I I, I, you know, <laughs> so y'all let us know, um, if y'all was feeling that down there too, uh, if y'all wasn't feeling that. I um, like that he acknowledged, you know, he made a mistake because, it, you know, he could have just brushed it off and, you know, kind of been ass about it. But it was, it was, you know, manly of him to come and go like, yeah, I, I was wrong. Like you, you know, I do see you out here. You do care about the community and I can't, you know, do all the things on the back end. I didn't know it was that much work to get an event together. So, yeah. So if you want to work with me. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I got you. Yeah. I with the you. whole thing, I once we get into your her, you know, decisiveness about you know working with Chris, with the way he reacted that first time, for me personally, it would be a flat out no. <laughs> Man, you wouldn't even tease him a little bit. Let me think about it. You would have been like, no, you know, bam. I mean, no, like the the way he acted, like you you not only showed your ass, <laughs> you didn't, you know, you didn't even keep it between us. You went and made me look, Man, you know, kind of bad ass. to other, yeah. you know, bit like vendors. People were like, Yeah, we don't want to work with you right now. We we heard about you in these streets, and now it's just supposed to be, you know, water under the bridge because you learned your lesson. So, <laughs> <laughs> I love the way you set that up. <laughs> I got you. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh he's like said, yeah, players mess up. So yeah. I I got you. Well, uh well, well said, man. Well said. If I had the little applaud thing, I would play it, but you know, <laughs> that was I, good. maybe maybe next time. Uh but this is what I was talking about earlier. You know, yeah. she's uh she's happy, you know, she getting the dollar bills and all of that. <laughs> and then she goes into that. Um yes. I mean, it's 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 not bad. I don't know. I just, I don't know how I feel. It, it was just too much. It was just, I don't know. It was too long I when I was confused. <laughs> um, I you know, her, she, she, but I, what I, what I do appreciate it. What do I, what I do appreciate it? My goodness. What I do appreciate about it is this is a good way to close out the show because mm -hmm. it's showing her, you know, being elevated to the next level, being promoted to the next level, letting the audience know or her fans that Issa made it. 
or she possibly made it, she's going to be okay, at least as far as her career is concerned. Mm -hmm. You know, she's not doing the after school care thing anymore, which she talked about later in this episode. Yeah. Uh, she's doing what she really wants and she seems happy. Yeah. It, but, uh, well, no, she's, it seems like she has everything checked on the checkbox, but she doesn't seem happy yeah. completely. She's but, happy career wise. <laughs> right, right, right. But I think we're all here because of the sex and the romance. And so uh, I think, yeah, she's going to be good career wise, you know, as we're seeing. I like the flashbacks. I didn't, I get what you're saying about them lingering on because I was like, okay, damn, we really staying here for a while. Yeah. Like it turned into a whole uh, movie. Yeah. <laughs> I was yeah. Like, oh. yeah. Like, but what I liked was, you know, in past seasons when she did, you know, look further than, you know, her circumstances and towards the future. Most of the time, she couldn't see past that apartment in Lawrence. Like, remember we got that that flashback where they had that whole situation on the couch and they never left that couch. They had a baby that was still on that mm -hmm. couch in that apartment. Like, he was coming home. They were on it. Like, she, it was still, you know, very mutant at that point. But here we have, you know, her prospects be so much bigger than the dunes that she's looking out like... She is so far beyond career wise where she started. So I'm liking the clothes out there. And I also like the inclusion of Ty Dolla Sign because yeah. if you remember when we got Ty Dolla Sign that past season, each past uh, flashback, Lawrence was always there. Not that they're not here, the men are here, but most of the time it was surrounding a man. Lawrence was there in the flashback and what my life could be with Lawrence. When Ty Dolla Sign was there, she was fantasizing. She was thinking about Daniel and, you know, he popped up and. It was just, it was always a man attached to her fantasy. Right now, he's not, you know, it's not really about that. It's all, you know, about herself and where she's going in her career. So I really like that aspect. It just showed us how far she's come. They right took on. it. They, they went far. <laughs> they did. They even went to the house, you know. Yes. Where, where I, her, like, I mean, yeah. they, they, they don't even look like uh, uh like the de decoration is something that she would um uh, mm. you know set up. I could be wrong. You know, people mm. ch taste just yeah, to, she do said change. She's in Hollywood. She's trying to show she got that bread. Yeah, <laughs> I'm but, in first class. But I did like the fact that um because I didn't know where they were going. Because I was like, well, damn, I, we see where her fantasy is. Like Nathan's nowhere to be found. But uh, in the end, she kept. <laughs> <laughs> she kept, you know, coming home to Nathan in both of her fantasies. Right, 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 right. Now, the thing, like, this, it just, it seems artificial. I think that's the point, though. Mm. Um, and I also noticed that they didn't, they didn't show her with a baby, no. uh, or a family. They just showed her with, with Nathan. And so, is that possibly symbolism that they're not going to make it? You know, I, I don't know. <sighs> I wouldn't I'm say kinda... that. I think it was just so much focus on career wise. I didn't understand them. I don't know. It just kind of felt like like she was making all these strides, but it just seemed like Nathan was just kind of there, you know, as a little tag along. Like I didn't know how to Somebody feel about to suck that. On. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know how to feel about that exactly because it was just like, you know, he was just like he was like what he is to her now, not a doormat or anything, but like he was just there as her support system, like that, that shoulder, you know, that what what the, what they said when they was in that car where like you got them light skin nigga crying my shoulder looks like <laughs> that's <laughs> <laughs> That's, you know, what he was here as. So when we get into it's like, you know, it just didn't feel like that full fantasy of me coming home to my husband for my career. We're happy. It just felt like Nathan was kind of an afterthought in her fantasy. Well said, ma'am. I agree with you 100% on that. So get out of there, Nathan. You don't fit, <laughs> man. You don't fit. We're not. Yeah. yeah like yeah. he kind of looked like a stay at home husband. <laughs> man, I couldn't, I couldn't put it together. I was there. You, that's yes. Yes, yes. That we did here, you know, it's yes. like, you know, higher things. It's like, yeah, I'm about the, you know, barbershop's going real. Like, yeah, Nathan didn't go beyond the barbershop, but you out here making money moves. You're getting the yeah. keys to the city. Right. <laughs> you know, he's just extra supportive and just like saying all the right things, you yeah. know, just. Uh, and I don't, I'm not trying to crap on, we're not, well, we're not trying to crap on nobody that, uh, a work from home dad or stay at home dad. No, you know what I'm all. saying? Uh, you know, do whatever works for you and your mm -hmm. situation, you know? Uh, just want to make sure that's clear. Yeah. Uh, we got this text message right here. Crenshaw coming across a little thirsty, I guess. But, you know, he's he trying, he trying to win. Yeah, he, <laughs> he needs some help. Now, oh, is my... Oh, shit. Uh -oh. My camera is overheating. Damn it. Uh -huh. 
I got a backup. Hold on. Of course you do, because you're just my opinion. Uh, <laughs> that normally never happens when I have my fan on. Mm -hmm. So, hold on. Let me... This is this shouldn't be doing that. I don't. It's, it'll like, come, it's gonna come back on in a second. I got another back over right here, but entertaining in the meantime. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm. Uh, <laughs> now we got the family situation right here. They're trying to go over the wheel. Yes. And um, I gotta say, um, I, I really felt sorry for the 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 pops, the dad. The dad you yes. know. Um, I mean, I'm not in his situation where I have my all my grand my children that are grown. Yes. you know uh looking up or down to me uh so to speak but i understand like i know that was not a good feeling mm -hmm. i was i was sitting just like man you know what what he said is like i, I worked for 50 years yes. but i feel like i have nothing to show for it. and you know it, just everything just on the sheet of paper yes. you know and I, that I was, was like, trash oh. that all that for like we had you know some 401k but after paying for them hospital it was like it's really nothing there it's like oh shot bang bang like oh well, yeah oh, why you say it was trash though because I mean, not no. The scene wasn't trash. Like the situation was. Oh, trash. okay, okay, okay. Like okay. that's really hurtful. Like who who's coming in? You know, with the we everybody knows about that feeling of you know that four hundred one k, and it just seems like you know. Of course, we know from you know working like that's something to have, and it just seems like they prioritize having it. But like it was just like, well, damn, how much was it if in one you know hospital visit? Like if you just had to dip into it for that emergency, now it's gone. Like like damn. What was it all for? Like yeah, um, and I just want to encourage everybody try to have these conversations with your family, your loved ones. I remember my dad first set me down like maybe 10 or 11 years ago, and he was like, All right, this is how much money we have. If I pass away tomorrow, this is what's gonna be left over. And mm -hmm. you know, it was a good conversation, and I learned a lot. Um, my dad has always been real open about it. If I ask my mom, she's like, Why do you want to know? And I'm just yeah. like <laughs> Cause I want to know she, and, and then she'll kind of tell me reluctantly, but my brother feels very uncomfortable talking about this stuff. Mm. I, I don't yeah. know why. Like my, like my, we got uh, two perspectives here. We got the dad and we got the mom. We got the comfortable person who's like willing, like we can, you know, this is going to happen. So we need to prepare. And she's, you know, very lighthearted. Kelly there. Kelly was really good. I like Kelly in this scene. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> and uh, mm -hmm. the dad was just like the whole nother perspective. Like, no, like, I don't, I don't want to discuss this. Like this, it just sounds like the end. Like, why don't we just split it all down the middle? Like, well, right. why, do, why do you need, it's like, no, when yeah. I'm gone, the only thing that matters is, you know, what's on paper with your signature on it. We need these things. Right, it's just right, like, right. Yeah. And Man. Molly's the only one who can send to the other son. I was like, yeah, I'm going to go, I'm going to go buy some tea. We don't have none. I'm going <laughs> to get the hell out of here. That's what yeah. I'm going to do. Because <laughs> yeah, this is, yeah. you know, it, it just feels like it's, you know, you're preparing for the end. And it's like, you know, it's, it's, it's not that it's, it's just it, the discussion needs to be had, but when you're having it, it's just like you, the mind goes to the common denominator of like we're preparing for when we die. Right, like, this right, is horrible. Right, and 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 again, I'm not I'm not just talking about my family per se, but um, mm -hmm. I've seen it where families got along, but when the the grandma, the eldest, passed away, and yeah. everything wasn't clear on that on that wheel on that on that official statement. It got ugly between family members and, you know, it, unfortunately, you know, that's a reality. But, you know, if we want to try to nip those things in the bud when we can. Uh, it's a hard combo. It's really a hard combo. The older your parents are very, very true. Very, very true. I am. Uh, I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. I'm, I'm trying my best and, you know, invest where you can. And, you know, so. How'd you feel about uh, Kelly in the scene? Because I know you be having your bouts with Kelly. <laughs> well, that's why I, I liked her because yeah. I mean it's showing her in a more serious role instead of just somebody that wants to party, scream, and have sex all the time. I'm not saying that if that's what you want to do, there's something wrong with that. No, but is that all you want to do? Like mm -hmm. every time I see you, I you open your think, mouth. What um what does Kelly do again? I can't. Does she do what does she do? She's I was a, just I was just like someone with financing. It's some, yeah, I believe yeah, it's something with finance is what you see. It's kind of like it's it's like they're trying to close our characters out because you know yeah. we open with Issa going like, oh, I can't believe you know she's really moving, Tiffany's moving, and then you have Kelly here saying that you know I really like what we're doing here. Oh bullshit! Oh lord, <laughs> this could you know be a possible career for me. I'm you know I'm feeling this. I like this, so that could be a thing for her in the future. 
Well, y'all, give me a give me a second. My camera is acting stupid, so y'all give me y'all give me a second, okay? All right. Uh, which computer am I using? Oh, hold on. Okay. See, that's what happened, y'all, when y'all got all that equipment. See, I don't got nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that you, you really telling the truth. You I don't know. got nothing, y'all. And her stuff is working perfect. I got um, an iPhone. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is no bueno over here. No, I'm just messing with you. Oh yeah, you you good. You good. You are good. So at least right. you good, because I'm not tech savvy. I wouldn't be like, well, y'all, that's the end. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> For the inconvenience. I'll catch you guys next time. Uh thank you for watching. I would have dipped. <laughs> mm, are we gonna do it like that? Okay. Um uh, as long as we can see you. Yeah, let me uh this is my backup. That I got off Amazon for thirty five dollars. Uh, man, that looks awful. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to make this better. I love how you're so technical about the looks of things. Like Brandon, be really out here caring, y'all. I just, I just cut the light on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I'm mad that what the? F Why did it lose connection? Mm. Minute. Y'all can still hear me though, right? Mm, yeah, we can hear you. What the hell? We have a nice picture, a little freeze frame of you holding the screen. <laughs> oh, I don't I don't even have that. Okay, hold on. Uh HD webcam. Come on now. No, that's the the wrong I'm thing. Some loading here. Uh, hold on. One second. I feel like Erica Badu. I was gonna say, y'all all right out there? <laughs> no. Oh gosh. Yeah, come on, Brandy, before I start singing. <laughs> okay. Uh, please work. Okay. All right. Uh, I was about to break out in the song. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, I had to touch the camera again. Oh, well. All right. Here we go. Uh, looks like hella light skin, Brandon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Just let it be. All right, let's let it be. Um, sorry about that, y'all. Uh, I just all right, where was we at? Where oh yeah, the we're talking about Kelly yes. and all that good stuff and so but I'm I'm glad they, they got it worked out. And uh this brother right here trying to work it out too. Uh, yeah, you know, he got on the he got on the white nice starch stay flow iron shirt. Stay uh, flow, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? With the with the good white tee on, no bacon yeah. neck, it's looking sharp. Straight out the cleaners, you know. Yeah, now I didn't understand why we had to walk into yet another fantasy here. I was like, come on now. <laughs> I really wanted to see, you know, the space that he had to offer, but it was like, boom, fantasy. I got, I got a, a, a olive branch. I got brownies. You know, it turned into a whole, a whole nother <laughs> fantasy scenario. But yeah. I did uh, like the fact that it looked like she saw herself buying. We got y'all. That was we got y'all. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, oh, like she's like seeing way beyond. Like we're opening the new. Like oh, you just knocked down the little youth kids, the little kids center. Like ain't no, ain't no more. We got y'all. That shit's over. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> I, I, I thought, I, yeah, I thought that was. I'm like that just looks so familiar, and yeah. um, I didn't recognize your girl Tara at first. Yeah, uh, it's you Tara. know, but yeah, she's she's in here doing her thing, and <laughs> you know, I have to say, uh, do you like her hair right here? Uh, I've seen this on her a couple of times when she's, you know, um, doing awards, little shows and the little walk and stuff. But I think, you know, it was different. I didn't expect it. I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. But it's, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I think, I think it's cute on her. Yeah, it's it's cool. Um, it's just still, you know, I'm just these fantasy things like we're talking about. It's just, I don't know. It was just too long and too lengthy. Was, was, oh, was that not 
not do from the barbershop? Uh, you know what? I think you're right. Because I was the, like, what? What are you doing here? Yeah, the, the a hole, <laughs> the one that yeah, was. Yeah, uh... I, didn't, I didn't understand. You know, his little push out there. I was like, wasn't he just cussing Nathan out about his client? Like, what? yeah, yeah. I didn't understand the connection there. About to fight him and stuff. Tell yeah. me, share it again. I'm a, you know, so yeah. That's, but it uh... looks like. Uh, how did you feel about her feeling like you know if she chose to work with you know the company that that she's been with? I, I don't understand the dilemma with Crenshaw, honestly, because. The guy, you know, the uh, the I guess the little business guy that she's been working with, she's been continuing and he's been really supportive of her events. We've seen him several times all the way from the beginning with the Crenshaw little fashion show situation. And he supported and pushed her and he's funding stuff like why would we, you know, feel like, well, if I go into business with, you know, this man, I'm a sellout. Maybe I should, you know, because you see when she's thinking about her her life perspective with the other guy, she's all off in Hollywood and hills and, you know, she's long. What does she have that little... You talking about the light-skinned guy with the hair? Uh, the light-skinned With the sweater. Oh! Yeah. Okay, I'm talking, okay. Yeah, I'm talking about the white guy who's... uh. Who, uh, who I think I believe, I, yeah, I believe he's the one you know who's funding everything. Yes, this guy. This guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When she sees herself working for him, like she's all alive in Hollywood, and you know she she's Hollywood. But with uh, working for Crenshaw, you know she's still local. She's you know on the street getting ice cream from old dude. <laughs> she's getting the key to the city, and she's feeling right. like if I'm not you know down with like a Crenshaw, then I'm a sellout. I was like, not at all. <laughs> yeah. Um, you have built yourself from the ground up, like. Yeah, but you I see, uh, where was that? That that um, was that a panel or wherever she was? She was having like this mock little discussion situation, and she was supposed to be in Mo City, and they're like, "Yeah, you haven't been to Los Angeles in a long time," and it's like, "Yeah, I don't get to go there much." Like she she feels like if she makes the choice to roll with old dude, then it's just bye bye to Inglewood. Yeah, um, I, I to be honest, that. I think all that flew over my head or I just didn't put it together. Um, but I didn't, yeah, I didn't see that at all. Uh, mm. what, what her feeling that way, but you know, thank you for pointing it out. Um, yeah. Well, she said it, uh, out of her mouth at the end of the episode with, um, when she's on the phone with Molly, she's like, you know, if I don't, you know, work with Chris, Chris, Chris and my, am I, you know, am I sell out? Am I selling out? And, you know, she's pretty much what Molly's been doing the entire season, giving her really good advice. Right, I do remember that. Uh, that was on the phone, though, right? That conversation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I do remember that. I do remember that. Uh, I guess I just was clocked out at this point in time, or, or just you, <laughs> you know. weren't feeling the episode anyway. <laughs> yeah, I just won. I just won that enthused about it. You know, mm -hmm. uh, here's her still uh, remembering that's stuff, and you can just tell like that's not the way Nathan dresses. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, he had on white earlier. Now he has on black. Uh, yeah. It's weird. I do like her hair. I don't know why I'm I'm so infatuated with hair, but it just yeah. stood out to me this episode. There's all that texture. She did like a billion little styles in this one little episode. Yeah, but there's your boy. Yeah, right there. How how you feel about him <laughs> popping up? How you feel? I was waiting. I was waiting. <laughs> I was like, how long? I'm glad that they didn't wait till episode two. I was hoping for us to get, um, cause I think we left off with him calling and you know, her not answering, right. but I was waiting. I was like, are we just going to ignore the phone call? Like clearly at some point he's going to come back into play. She's not comfortable with Nathan. She's still hesitant. Come on and bring us goddamn Lawrence. We're waiting on him. I didn't get him how we, I, I thought they were going to have an actual real conversation, but we got, you know, this fantasy like, Hey, Hey, remember me? I'm so proud of you. And it's just like, oh, no, I'm trying to stay away from you. Like, <laughs> girl, no, you're not. Yeah. Why? 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 I should just really hope that they're not. It's just not the best writing to me. The writing should be like, really like, where's the mystery? I feel like they're sending us through all these obstacles in this shit. Like, even with the way that y'all have it laid out, I don't feel like anybody really feels like, oh, she's going to wind up with Nathan. We're not feeling that shit no more. We've been stopped no. feeling that like two episodes ago. So That's don't true. send us, you know, through the whole shit show when we're just, I don't want them to send us through all of these hurdles in this he say, she say for us to just have a whole runaway bride situation and she's running the Lawrence. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I would hate that. Uh, like we already know that she wants to be with Lawrence. So, or, you know, there's some unfinished business there for the most part. So if we could just get to them having a real conversation because until we have that, 
it's still will they won't they and we're wasting i feel like we're wasting time and it's That's really playful because it was like hey like i don't want him in a fantasy i want y'all to talk in real life we already got enough fucking fantasies when you threw the baby and kicked condola <laughs> like we don't need anymore right 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 now guys before we, I'm, I'm disappointed before we move on i'm saying that we got 65 people watching but we only got 34 thumbs up oh 34 thumbs up come on now what's going on give me a don't thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up <laughs> All right, I know, I know. I need to more get get more video clips, but <laughs> you can get me a thumbs up though. In the meantime, so yes, thumbs up, please. thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, party, thumbs up, party, and oh, wait a minute. All right, I just got all right. I'm happy. I was uh got access to something. That's that's lovely. I thought they was ignoring me, but yes, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, and we yes, we do Ron Burgundy here, Laura, Laura Winslow. <laughs> I just realized that. What's up, Laura? Tell Steve to come on through. Tell Steve to come on through. <laughs> uh, nothing wrong with being a step parent if that's the person you love and want to be with. I agree. Yeah. She's the one that cheated that led him to condolences. Condola in the first place. <laughs> right, right, right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And what's up? <laughs> what's up, Laura? Uh, now, this is who I definitely want to win right here coming up. Horian. The, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Captain Ballhead, the black Mr. Clean. Where he, there he is right here. You know, uh, is that actually him? No, uh, that is her father. I'm what tripping. You doing? What am I doing? <laughs> I got the wrong pictures. Hold on. I'm oh lord, I'm all out of whack. Oh, that's the daddy. Okay, so they do that. I'm tripping. My fault, y'all. Um, it's sad because she's in the car and crying. Yeah, and I feel so bad for her. Uh, I felt so bad for Torian because he was happy, like, hey, I'm coming to get you. I'm I, I don't I don't finish the report, I don't hit save. You know what I'm saying? He was he was making sure them T's were dotted them out. Well, I was just, you know what I'm trying to say. I can't yeah. say it, but he was trying to make sure he had it together. And um, you know, it, it didn't work out, you know. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this: how do you feel? And I may be being petty. I should don't want to ask this question. Do you how do you feel about him sending the wings and the wine? I love that. <laughs> okay. I love that. I love that he didn't go like take it personal that she couldn't come. This was like a really small, it looked really small on screen, but this was such a big step for Molly because if she would have just, you know, what she's been doing this entire season, even though we've seen so much growth from her, she's still been kind of stuffing down her feelings. Like when she went to the whole event, when she should have been, you know, at her mom's bedside. But she, you know, chose to like, you know, I thought she was going to wipe and go like, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll be there. Like, let me, I got to be tough Molly. I got to put on this face, put on this facade. And it's just like, you know what? No, I'm going to take a moment for myself. I am broken. I am scared at the aspect of, you know, my parents might actually, you know, go. We're preparing. This is tough. I'm not going to put on a brave face. I'm going to take this moment for myself and decline this date. Because, you know, we've seen how she was way excited in the beginning. Like, she was like, yeah, this is second set. Like, the yeah. fact that she was like, yeah, we about to go on a second date. And I'm feeling like, yeah, he about to get some. And she was like, yeah. I was like, well, damn, yeah. Molly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah right it's, on. it's cool. Like, relax. But, you know, she was feeling it enough. Yeah, like, right. you know, this could be our night. And she, like, took charge. Like, no, I really need to take a moment for myself and really acknowledge I'm not feeling well. I can't come. I thought that was really great for her. And for him to understand understand that and not, you know, just take it personal, it just shows, like, Tori in the one. Okay. I think she still would have won. I, I, I like I will say I think she still would have won on a date if he, call, if he didn't call her right when she broke down. Hmm. If he would, if she would have broke down and got herself together, and then the call came through, or right before that happened, I, I don't know. Just from knowing her character, she probably would have uh, tried to brush it off and push through. I'm glad that she handled it the way she did. I think that's best. Um, and you know, I asked that question earlier uh, because I was like, I, I was just thinking, I was like, what would I do in that situation? And if it was a second date, you know, I was about to go pick her up, you know, but you know, things came up. Would I do that? You know, it just would depend on not, you know the relationship or the rapport. And I was thinking, they don't, they ain't been on um, they, they don't, they, that was this would have been the second date. So yeah. I was just like, I was like, I don't know if I would have did that now if, if we was a kind of established. Of course, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, you know, hey, I'm just gonna he make sure you do it. You know, he 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 did, he did. I kind of I kind of thought he was flipping the coin. 
You know, mm-hmm. and I, I mean, that's just me, though. I'm not saying that I'm I right thought about that everything. was crazy, though, how free she was to feel like, OK, we're in a comfortable space for the second day for us to have sex. But they weren't in a good space yet just for them to be like, oh, my God, I'm going through something with my mom. And my mom it's tough. And it's just like, OK, yeah, let me come over. You know, we don't have to go out. Let me come over with right. the wings and the wine and, you know, console you and be there to support you. It was just like, no, we're not there yet. I don't want to, you know, be in your like, but y'all, you was prepping to give up all your draws. Like, I just, didn't <laughs> but I, I like the fact that he didn't, you know, just throw himself into her space. This is just, this was just going to be right. the second date, right, you know. Right. And but and and also they have a rapport because they work together. Yeah. Um. So even unintentionally, you're gonna, you know, kind of grow a relationship with somebody. And I, I, I really have to respect the way he. I mean, we didn't see much on mm-hmm. screen with their work relationship but he never flirted with her at all um not, not even remotely not even like the professional flirting like mm-hmm. professional flirting is something where I'll, I'll say something like it worked like i like your hair or you have nice hair you know what i'm saying it you you i think you get what i'm trying to say yeah. you know um they and, low-key and, didn't even like each other at first <laughs> right 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 but um i i, I don't remember i don't even i think it was a mutual thing when he mm-hmm. was going to bring the swag bag yeah. And it was kind of a, a brief connection because I, I was about to say she shot at him, but I was like, no, that's not the case. He tried and... to lean in, you know, kind of. Play. He was like, whoa, like, I'm glad I'm glad that he is, you know, taking things slow. And even this moment of breaking it up, like, let's just wait on the sex, Molly. And let's just, yeah, you know, yeah. we know Tori, but we don't so know Tori in, in, right. a re- in a relationship. Right, We're all, right cool down and just relax right. and you know maybe this whole situation with her parents will you know this was this was this is a bad thing but it was a good thing because it paced her because she probably would have been somewhere giving it up right right <laughs> that's true that's true just like you said just just chill just chill yes. just chill I, uh right. no wing telling me stop, take... wing stop? i had got all hungry i was like damn <laughs> is that wing stop right on. <laughs> Uh, Ma were telling me to take the list, uh, take the lesson. Do do the note yes, it, do the yes. note. Send the wings. It. If you love me, send lemon pepper and parmesan. Who is that? Who said that? Yes. Yeah, oh yeah, gosh. Yeah. Right they on. know my heart. Throw in that's, some that, Louisiana that's the, rub. Uh, just just for, just for me. Mix all them together and we friends. I got you. I got you. <laughs> I got you. I got you. I got you. That's so guys, y'all heard her. Y'all heard her favorite type of wings. <laughs> Um, you know, send her some money to, for her to make you a, a YouTube video. You know, she does that and send her a little extra to get that door dash. Let me pepper my wings. I'm very Ricky Ross. Let me pepper my wings, please. What, what, what do you like to drink? Tea, uh, soda, orange? Yeah, uh, no soda. Tea. No, tea? Okay. Tea, okay. lemonade. I'm good. Fellas, I'm trying to help you out. I'm trying to, I'm trying to help you out. I'm trying to help you out. But we are coming up. Uh, we're getting closer to the end. Um, Issa... I don't know. I, I don't think I'm a fashion, uh, uh, whatever. But I like her. I like her set right here. Um, it's just her unique first to time her. turning her back on mirror, bitch. Oh yeah. <laughs> the symbolism. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, she's doing that. I was hoping. I was like, please don't go into like another fantasy. Yeah. Um, you know, but I forgot it. I think he was talking about this earlier. Mm-hmm. This conversation that was having on the phone. Uh, Molly giving that good advice. You know, she did last time where Issa was drunk about to call him Lawrence. Well, she did. She was like, if you still want to call him in the morning, do that. So this is cool. I- I'm still I'm still bugged out, though. We got we had the year jump at the beginning of this season. I never got closure from their fallout at the end of season four. Ain't getting that, Brandon. Yeah, <laughs> I guess not. So You ain't you know, getting that. It's just you know. we're under the assumption that. You notice, right. like, I feel like after each episode, yes. we have the both of them saying, you know, I love you, girl. I love you, too. Like, they they are solidifying to us that they are good, you know? They're like, what more do you want? I said, I love her. Like, we're hanging out. I'm calling every two seconds to get advice from Molly. Like, they're being very, you know, really great friends to each other. I guess the writers felt like we didn't need any more. Wow. But I'm but I'm sure once it comes to Lawrence, we're going to get all the closure scene we want out of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna uh we're gonna see. I'm still hoping Daniel come back. I'm I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I, Maybe I, he could pop I up in the end credit scene. I saw Ty Dolla Sign's ass. I was like, oh, is what is Daniel because we only Maybe. saw Ty Dolla Sign when Daniel was into play. And I was like, 
does that mean something? But I don't, maybe, you know, maybe he was, you know, just there. I just think it was a callback just to go, like, there is no man in these fantasy. I'm not thinking about Daniel. I'm not thinking about Lawrence. This is about my career, you yeah. know, but no Daniel. <laughs> I got you. So, but I think this is the last scene right here. Um, mm -hmm. No, that's not it right there. Um, but she gets the wings and what is wings going on? Wings and wine. He said wings and wine. Why? Wings Why? and wine. Yes. And um, Nathan, and they're trying to eat this Chinese food, but um, you know your boy Lawrence keep popping up, and um, <sighs> I don't have a picture. I thought I did, but uh, he keeps popping up. Did in you the episode get some music? Like they killed me with the um, with that low key Nightmare on Elm Street ass music when she felt like like oh my god is it Lawrence? Like it's just like <laughs> scaring the shit out of her. Yeah. Like. <laughs> Like, like, dude, like, uh, I just, I'm, I'm not, I didn't like that. I didn't like, I didn't like the Lawrence aspect of this episode. I liked everything. This was the, the Issa's career and, you know, where everything is going and, you know, w the will and all of those good things. Those were the topics at hand. That was all great. This whole Lawrence thing, like, I'm just not, <laughs> we, we know you, we know you. We know your heart. Like, you know your own heart. So it's just like, at this point, it's like we're kind of watching her torture Nathan. <laughs> so how do you think it's all going to end? Uh, from the looks of it, it don't look like she's going to fucking wind up with Nathan. Like, I, we, because we just don't know, because we didn't get any closure with them. I wish we had gotten something more than, you know, that drop off at the, at pick up from the airport and drop off at the house. But with that, it leaves it open to so much. And it just seems like he's been on her mind so much. It's, just, it's like she can't, with, I don't think we've had any moments in the past, like three episodes where she wasn't thinking about Lawrence. So it's like, is it just that you want closure before you move all the way with Nathan? Or do you really not want Nathan and you are going to go back and try to be with Lawrence? No. We're going to see. We're going to see. I don't even know if I care what happens at this point in time. I mean, I do. <laughs> it's not as much as I used to. <laughs> uh, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll see. But y'all let us know what y'all think will happen. Um, I haven't seen episode nine or ten. Uh, I have Did you no see idea. the trailer for nine? I haven't. I'm a, actually I'm gonna watch uh, it. Uh, I'm actually I always try to watch it each week and it never works. It's it's getting it's getting interesting. From the trailer, it looks like we're finally gonna get everybody collectively in this high key condola, Lawrence, Nathan, Issa, all in the same space at the same time. So, That's what I want. A battle yeah, right? royale. A battle right. royale. Everybody fighting each other it's called promo mm -hmm. it's called out okay is that it mm -hmm. okay let's see if we can let's see if we can make a mess real quick oh lord we're we gonna we about to fade stuff? to black y'all oh, no. <laughs> oh don't say that okay so we're gonna see give me a thumbs up if you can hear it okay Hey, there goes Tony. <laughs> I don't know, man. You said X up in that. I don't like it. So? All right. All right. That looks promising. Right. I, I'm, I'm, like, I can dig us, it. Give yeah. us I still don't feel like we're getting, well, well, like, this does not... This this even the promo like that that feels like that should have been like episode six you know four like, you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah. that's what I, this is what I've been wanting the whole season everybody separated in different parts of the universe yeah. you know uh I, okay I'm 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 actually looking forward to episode nine now so I'm just worried like how with that particular situation like we're just all getting collectively in the same space episode nine what <laughs> what's what's episode ten what is the finale yeah. like. And yeah. then it's not even like, you know, we're having some grand hour long, you know, finale, right. shit. you know, like, you know, right. where they take, I was, I was hoping with the show, they would take either the beginning or that last episode, you know, they kind of make it a movie because it's like, we're not getting anything else. So they give you, you know, that hour 
hour and some change episode. Like, no, y'all, y'all still getting cut and dry mm. 32 minutes and a quarter, and we're going to just wrap it all up. How- I heard uh, Sterling K. Brown coming back, too. Oh. I'm, I'm messing with you. I'm teasing this. <laughs> I, 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 thought, I thought I was going to get a, a bigger reaction out of you. Like, what? She's like, oh, I don't care. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, nah, because he, he, he was like in last place as far as uh, for my, the race to Molly or whatever. Mm-hmm. But I, I'm thank you for bringing the trailer up because I wasn't going to play it. I'm glad it worked. I'm looking forward to now and I'm smiling, you know, yes, other than on, my camera Brandy. going out. You know, so, yeah, yeah. What kind of clap was that? <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah get so excited. yeah, Laura says she wants Daniel or whatever, and uh, <laughs> I need a. Um, and anyway, well, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. So, guys, y'all, let us know what y'all think uh, down below in the comment section, whether you're watching this via live or on the replay. Hold on, y'all. We got we finna head out. I still only got 44 likes, and oh, y'all trash, got that's, y'all. that's messed trash. up. Don't that's, do that. That's horrible. <laughs> That's horrible. Y'all talking about y'all like your boy and y'all support. You can't even give me a thumbs up. Are That's you okay. not entertained? Like, what's up? I guess not. I guess not. I guess not. We making guess... lemonade out of lemons with this yeah. show. I, I, I'm gonna just quit, Tyra. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna close my channel. This is my last video I'm gonna make on my channel because they don't love me. They don't love me. No, but man, before we head out of here, what do you want to promote on your channel? What you got going on? What you got coming up? Well, I recently dropped my Django breakdown, which is surprisingly, via some people, pretty good. So yes. go and watch that. And next week, uh, I am doing paid reviews on my channel. It's not just paid reviews, but it is a thing now. And some lovely ass person decided to pay for Purple Rain. <laughs> oh, so man. I'll yeah. be giving y'all all my Prince Athelonia next love week. It, and it. that that shit's going to be really entertaining in purple. So don't miss it. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, and I love these intros that she be making. She puts a lot yes, of hard work into it. Yes, you know, do, y'all. Please. Yeah, she's she's <laughs> she's doing the damn thing. And so, um, you know, and this is a nice. So uh, you cleaned up nice in uh, in this one right here. Yeah, the Jones, so. uh, another lovely person. Like people have been really supportive. I'm so thankful for that. Somebody paid uh, for uh, Carmen Jones, and I got to dress and give my best Carmen uh, for that video, and that was great. So Dopeness, thank you guys. Dopeness. That's it's dope. Already, already. Well, guys, again, you just head over to my channel tab. Just click channel tab, then click struggle reviews, and then bam, she's right there. Make sure you got you subscribe to her channel and show her some love. Um, another thing, I mean, I, I have my uh review for power, the latest that just came out. Um, that's going on right now. Also, my review for Unf- the Unforgivable and being the Ricardos. And I have a ton of reviews this week. And I'm going to be dropping for y'all. I don't want to say what it is yet, but it's just coming. Make sure you subscribe so you can check all of that out right there. Mm-hmm. All right. So, um, guys, I want to thank y'all so much for tuning in. And we will see you guys in the same time next week, same place. And yes. before you go, don't forget that I'm B. Avery and that's Tyra. And that's just our opinion. Peace out. We'll see you next time.